I'm Brianna and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be a young substitute teacher. So I am 23 years old, I'll be 24 in about four months, and I've been a substitute teacher for about five months now. I pretty much sub for all subjects grade levels 5 through 12, so I'm just going to be talking about my experiences being a young sub and what it's like in the classroom. So one of the main things that I often experience and something that I really did not expect to experience going into being a sub is that I'm often mistaken as a student. So when I first started subbing, I strictly wanted to do high school. I just felt like it would be more comfortable for me and that the kids are older and that it would be easier to maintain order in the classroom. But as time went on, I started picking up shifts for younger kids and so I started doing middle school um, junior high grade levels 5 6 7 8 for the kids are anywhere from about 10 11 years old all the way up to seniors in high school which can be 17 or 18 years old and so it was kind of a shock at first um, I think on a weekly basis whether it be from students other faculty and especially from teachers I'm mistaken as a student and so looking young has its benefits but also has its disadvantages when it comes to being in education and so um, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing to be mistaken as a student, it means you look young, you're youthful, but it does come with its challenges. And so as an example, there was one day when I was subbing at a high school that's grades 9 through 12 and students weren't allowed to go to the certain part of the school yet because the day had just started. I was walking to my classroom and I got asked by a teacher where my hall pass was because I wasn't allowed to go over there. And I kindly showed her my um, substitute ID badge and she apologized and I kept going. And so it's not intentional that other people think I'm a student or try to to treat me as a student but it's just that kids look pretty old in high school kids are basically adults and most of the time I go to work without makeup so I do not look like this at work I go to school um, zero makeup on most of the time of course I am dressed nicer than most of the kids but still I look like a kid so along with being young comes with its challenges of being able to maintain good classroom management so in addition to being mistaken as a student once we get past that barrier and they understand that I am the adult in the room, I'm the sub, there comes the challenges of having to maintain the classroom. So me personally, from my experiences, especially with older kids in middle and high school, when they have a sub that's younger, they kind of think that the student and the sub are on the same level, that they can get away with more than they can with their teacher, who's most likely older than me. And so I honestly went in thinking that I would have to be super, super strict and lay down the rules so that they would actually take me seriously. But I found that there is a balance. And so being young, you want them to take you seriously. You want to enforce the rules and not let them run all over you. So you do have to be stern and let them know from the beginning that you're in charge of this classroom. The teacher is gone. You're the sub. This is your classroom for the hour, for the day, however long you're there. And let them know that there will be consequences for not following the rules. But at the same time, don't try to go in acting like you own the classroom because you are not the full-time teacher and try to really level with the students so being young you do have to be mindful that they may not have the same level of respect for you as they would for their middle-aged teacher or at the sub or somebody older and so you do have to go in and have the confidence to know that you are in charge and that this is your responsibility to make sure the class runs in order so going along with having to make sure that you're taken seriously because you are younger. So I have seen some subs will roll in, they're wearing Nikes, athletic shoes, pants, and are kind of dressed down. But I feel like when you're younger and you're going into the setting, you should definitely dress above. And so I will often come into work wearing slacks um, or even just tops like this and just make sure that I look presentable. I would not come to work in jeans unless it's a jean day 
day, I wouldn't wear leggings, sweats, athletic shoes, and so I usually come um, dressed like I would in a business casual type setting because you do want to be taken seriously. If you come in and you're young and you're wearing leggings and vans or something like that, then not only the students but the staff and faculty are not going to think you're serious about what you're doing. So make sure that you come in looking professional. Now you don't have to come in with a three-piece suit, heels, anything that serious, but definitely do not come in dressed like one of the kids because then you might be treated like you are one of the kids. So also along with being young is that the kids will talk to you and ask you questions that they would definitely not ask older subs or their actual teacher. And so I actually want to make an entire video about the crazy questions that people and kids at school have asked me but just to kind of give you a few, ex a few examples is that kids will ask me am I married do I have a boyfriend do I have a college degree and just those personal type questions that they would not ask their real teacher so do you expect to get some of that and kindly just brush it off don't take it personal and make sure that you get the class back on task so yes they will definitely ask you tons of questions they would not ask their normal teacher and in high school yes I have been hit on by students it's super awkward and uncomfortable so kind of just try to divert it and go back to whatever assignment or whatever they're supposed to be doing so yes I'm pretty sure that they would not hit on their 40 year old teacher but they do on me so another thing you have to be mindful of is keeping appropriate distances and relationships between yourself and the kids. So since I am young, I'm 23, when I sub for high school, some of the kids are only about five years younger than me if they're 18 years old, which is not a lot. And so oftentimes they might see me as more relatable, as more of a peer than as a substitute or teacher type figure. And so I have been asked by kids, hey miss, do you have a TikTok? What's your Instagram? And most of the time it is completely in it completely innocent but you do have to be mindful that you're not there to be their friend you're there to be their sub if anything a mentor or something of that nature but you're not their peers you're not their friends and so definitely be very mindful of the relationships that you have with kids there's tons of times that I will go back and revisit schools and see the same kids they know me they'll see me in the hallway wave at me say hey miss stone but you do have to make sure that you're being their mentor being someone they can look Look up to not being somebody that is on the same level as them. So if you watch the news, you see all the time teachers getting arrested for having inappropriate relationships with kids. So if you are going in as a young sub, definitely be careful and be mindful of your interactions, even if they might seem innocent or they don't have any malicious intentions you have to be mindful of how they can be taken from all perspectives. And so some people graduate college at 21, 22 years old. If you're subbing for high school seniors, you can literally be only about three years older than them, which is crazy to me. Um, so definitely be mindful of those interactions. Also, just to throw this in, I get asked how old I am almost every, maybe every other day. And most at first, I would kind of just tell them my age just to get that out of the way and keep it moving. But if you answer one question, they will keep asking you question after question. So usually now, whenever kids ask, hey, how old are you? Or they'll say, hey, you look young. How old are you? I will kind kindly just say old enough to be your sub and just keep it moving. So I have been rambling about all the negatives of being young, but just to touch on some of the positive factors about being young, and I would say the main thing is that you are more relatable to them. So if you're in middle school or high school, somebody who's in their early 20s might be able to understand and relate to you more than somebody who's in their 40s or 50s or 60s. And so whenever I'm in school, I always think about however old the kids are and how long ago 
I was in their shoes. And so yes, a lot has changed since I've been in school, but it was not that long ago. I graduated high school six years ago. I was in middle school 10, 11 years ago. And so I feel like lots of times the kids are able to talk to me about things they might not talk to older kids about. And so even though I'm a sub, I have had some really deep conversations with some of the kids. They've opened up to me about problems at home, bullying and other problems like that. And so I feel like when you're young and you're in the classroom, whether it's fifth grade, seventh grade, twelfth grade, you are in a great position to be a mentor to these kids, to help them and to kind of shed some advice on them. Like when I'm in 11th or 12th grade, I'll talk about college applications, advice on student loans and all that other stuff. Um, when I'm in middle school, I'll give them advice about how to make it through high school, classes to register for. And so I feel like being young, you are in a great position to make an impact on them. Even if you only see them for one day, you might make more of a difference than some of their other teachers. You might click with them more. And so I think being relatable is definitely a great factor. Sorry, I'm sick. Um, something else that's great is being young, um, sometimes I just have conversations with other teachers and they're really able to shed some of their knowledge and experience and give me advice and that is amazing to be able to talk to a teacher who's doing exactly what I want to be doing and I'm going to be doing soon. So I'm setting to be an English teacher and every time I sub for English I really just like to take in the classroom setup, the organization. And so being a sub is what you make of it. And you can go in and you can sit there and do nothing, get your paycheck and go home. Or you can really interact with the kids, talk with the teachers, the staff. I talk to everybody. I talk to the people who clean the cafeteria. I talk to the front office people, teachers, principals. And so you can really soak in the environment, take away all of the knowledge that is there, and really try to make an impact on the kids that cross your path. And it is an amazing experience. And so subbing is actually what made me want to be a teacher it was something that I did just because I needed a quick job but it is amazing to be able to have a job where every single day is different you're always on your toes and you get to really interact with and make an impact on these kids so yeah being a young sub is it has its pros it has its cons as any job does at any age but overall I really enjoy being a sub and I'm so excited to start my career in this field so I actually have an entire playlist of substitute teaching related videos that I will link down below and they will be at the end of this video. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I have tons of other teaching related videos, story times, and things of this nature coming. So please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.